Yesterday morning was quite hard to get out of bed, but I did it. And then later on in the day, I was doing what I needed to do for my online job. So I posted some postings about the pink drink, which I'm super excited about trying, by the way. I know people don't think that, you know, people are excited, but I'm excited. And my um, items have already been shipped, so I'm just waiting for them now. Apparently, they're coming by UPS, so that should be fast, right? UPS is pretty fast, as far as I know. Anyway, so once they get here, I'm going to be trying the pink drink right away. That's like one of the first things I'm going to be doing. <clears throat> and then, um, yeah, I don't remember what else I got in there. Pretty sure I have some other things too. I'm super excited anyway. I'll be opening up the box, probably going live while I do it because I'm super excited about it. So that'll be part of that day's uh, vlog. And I feel super bad that I didn't even say goodnight last night. I'm like doing this the next day on Tuesday. Kind of weird, but hey, I was super tired from all the heat, so. No shame, no shame. I have no regrets. No regrets at all. And yeah, here we go. So, um, the other day, I think it was the other day, Friday or so, I had made a post about wanting to do some kind of at-home opportunity. And I got so many uh, people messaging me within like minutes. Um... What? And I was like looking through each one of them. Um, and then one of my church sisters messaged me and told me about what she's been doing. Let's go find a friend. And when I talked to her uh, sponsor, I realized that, wow, this company is like something I'd want to do. So um, I ended up going with Plexus. So if you guys like see posts from me from Plexus, um, yeah, so I decided to do Plexus. I'm still waiting for look, my um, business no, builder look. kit in no, the um, you can't, you can't mail, it, like, but other than that, I'm super excited look, and yeah. I've been posting about it um, look, when look, I can. And yeah, so I'm just, look, right now I'm just do. learning, you know, I'm just learning about certain things, so. Tell what it is. Exciting. Very exciting. Uh, so I'm going to go for now because I still have lots of cleaning up to do since we went shopping. And then I have laundry. And then I have dishes. And then I have blogging. And then I have uh, Bible study. I have a whole bunch of things. So I'm going to go for now. Catch you guys later. Just had a Zoom with my team, and now I have a pain in my neck and shoulder. So my baby's got to help me a little bit. No, no. Oh, that's it right there. daily vlog what are you talking about get me out of here i need him to chop food on a hot day. yeah well i need to eat i need to eat just because it's hot doesn't mean that time slows and life stops guys it says it's 33 degrees outside but with the with the humidity it feels like 37 it feels like that. I can barely breathe from the humidity. It's so bad. 
And yeah, I'm going to be cooking over a hot stove. Might as well just get naked, right? <laughs> Uh, the heat. But I have to do it. I need to eat. I haven't eaten. All I've had is boost and I'm tired of having boost every day. I need to eat. Sorry. Writing a blog. My keyboard shuts off. My keyboard shuts off after a certain amount of time of not using it. So when it's inactive, it shuts off for power um, conservative conserve you know what I mean I I am so tired I have no words <laughs> anyway so later once I'm done making dinner and eating I have to write down the business notes that I got from messenger we were on zoom and she was helping me with messages real time so yeah and she also helped me with a post real time and yeah so I did everything they're requiring of me and I'm super excited to see where this goes whatnot so yeah honestly I just want to be able to help Johnny so that he doesn't have to work 12 13 hours and for that to be a possibility I have to be at least making $1,200 a month so that's my goal $1,200 and then Johnny doesn't have to work 12, 13 hours. I'll be pulling my own weight. As long as I'm doing it biblically and I'm within biblical laws and commandments of God, I'm down. That's all I gotta say. That's what he said. So I'm gonna go get stuff prepared. Johnny's doing the chicken. I'm gonna do the veggies. And then we're gonna do up some curry. Well, I will. Johnny won't be. He'll be resting while I make curry. Thirty-three degree weather. Humidity feels like 37. Still cooking. Still sweating. Is it just me or like when it gets like super hot in the evening just before the sun goes down? All of a sudden you feel like you can't do nothing, you just sit and then you're dead. Is it just me? Because I did so much work and now I feel like I can't do any more. For real, for real. Just lazing here like this. Had a Zoom doctor's appointment for uh, Logan's uh, uh, feedback from his assessment that he had. When was his assessment? Thursday? Thursday? Yeah, I think it was Thursday. Anyway, so the doctor said that uh, he doesn't know how to describe things well. And that he wants him to see a speech therapist to get assessed on his speech so that he learns how to detail when he's talking because he has no details when he's talking. Um, the doctor asked him to like uh, make up a story and he didn't know how. <laughs> so he thinks that there might be some barrier there. I told him we've been working on things like reading, writing, grammar, spelling things of this nature and he said yeah there's no, no, nothing wrong with how he speaks he knows how to use words in the right context and he has them in the right grammatical uh, contextualized he said he was very good in that manner uh, he just wasn't very uh, detailed with descriptions I agree he said that he also um, 
when he wants your attention, he really wants your attention and he'll like get in your face for your attention. I'm like, oh yeah, he's like that here too. Climbing on things, jumping off things, hurting himself in the background when I'm on the phone just so he can get my attention to ask me one question. And he's like, yes, I noticed that he had millions of questions. I'm like, yes, yes, millions. He's like, the other thing is he was very obsessed with his brother. And I said, well, here he's not. He, he says that he wishes he was never born. And he hates him when he's here. He's like, then it must have been that he was really excited to be playing with my toys. And I'm like, yep, I think that's what it is. Because he thinks everybody's his best friend. He doesn't know the difference between acquaintance, family member, and friend. Everybody's his friend. And he's like, yeah, so I think it might... He says he thinks it might have, like hindered the assessment from being fully you know being able to fully assess him because he logan knows him whereas if it was a stranger he would probably not be as comfortable right and he might be able to show more of his grunting and sniffling and eye movements and whatnot right if it was someone new and he was a little overwhelmed with the situation he would probably be able to show more of his what's wrong with him but because he was so excited and happy because he thinks dr islami is his best friend he was too excited he was just giggling and laughing and making weird noises the whole time <laughs> and apparently he doesn't recognize facial expressions so he doesn't know like feelings and we have like a we have like a pictogram on the wall over this there. Is. Don't mind the mess. The kids are pretty messy. But we have a pictogram on the wall with Sad. emotions and which emotion Sad. with the facial expression for that emotion. Not Sad. I don't get it. What are you doing? But apparently he couldn't. What's he this? can't distinguish the the mood of the person based off their facial expression. Although he said he was very animated with the way he was sitting and talking with him, he said Logan's very animated. So he has a lot of facial expressions and lots of emotion in his face, but he doesn't know what those emotions mean. So, but that is normal, you know, with like sensory processing disorder and apparently ADD, HDD. HDD? Yeah, they still say that. It's ADHD. Whatever. I think I still have onion on my fingers and I forgot to wash my hand and now the onion is in my eye because I rubbed my eye. Is it a bigger one? Oh man. Yeah. What are those called? Nick Oh no, my eye. I got onion in my eye from my finger. But usually porky smiles are the ones with the shark. Oh no. Know. No! They're all gonna laugh at you. Oh. There's always something wrong with my eye. Always. <sighs> Still bugging me. I might have to do it again, guys. I hate it. Sometimes I have to do it twice. Like the other day with this one, I had to do it twice. There's just something wrong with my eyes. You see that weird discoloration there? I have it in both eyes. See that? I have like really bad allergies and stuff. I 
did not get to say goodnight last night. I was too tired after the whole freaking hot freaking day. It was a hot freaking day. 33 degrees and with humidity it felt like 37 and I was dying yesterday. I don't even know what the temperature is right now and I'm scared to even look. It's hot. Anyway, so I never got to say goodnight last night so I'm going to say goodnight now. I know it's the next day but whatever. So goodnight. I hope everybody had a wonderful Monday. God bless y'all. Later. So this morning when I made Johnny's breakfast, I did two wraps and uh, I guess it was too much for him. He had to take one to work with him for a snack because he was full after the first one. So I decided to do the same thing for dinner with fried rice, which you'll see later on in the video. But um, today I did a more of a formal what goes on in the life of a biblical woman and how excited and happy I am to actually do what I do each day. So I show you. So I'm going to set you up here while I run around doing dishes and cleaning. You guys get to see a little bit of my everyday morning. Tomorrow is ironing day, so I have to get this whole area swept properly clean for ironing. Day. Now, frequently, guys, I will hurt myself while I'm cleaning and doing things because I'm a klutz. For some reason, I don't have any depth perception, so when I go to do something, I overdo it and I almost break my nails every, every single time. I'm going to have these out because I'm going to be making boiled egg wraps for the boys for lunch. Which I will do short videos to show you how I do them. It's pretty neat. Right now the boys are playing with bugs. I'm glad they're exploring.
one day I want to get the whole cooking set that she made. This woman makes these beautiful old fashioned cooking cookware. And I really want to get it because it's like traditional woman to the max. Like even right down to the um, beautiful um, way that she made these pots or rather they're like big things like this. And I remember my mom having like something similar when I was younger that could go in the oven. And those ones that she made can go in the oven. So I really want to get the cook set that she made. I'll have to look up the name. I can't remember. But yeah, it's in Walmart. I can go on Walmart website and look it up, find it, and then post it later. Which is probably what I'm going to do. Alrighty, now we're gonna change views so you can see the sink. Oops. Oh, there. Oops. Wow. What is happening? Let's try to use this bottle to hold you up. There. So I want it a little bit warm just to rinse. The dishes. You know what? I should have my apron on just in case splashback happens. Hey Lucas, what's up? I'm gonna dry my hand and get my apron on. Hold on, I don't know if it's hot enough for water guns, guys. You guys are going to get a cold. I'm not putting water fight in. What? I'm not putting water fight. It's not Dude, hot I enough. Am. I am. So I'm just going to pre-wash this now because I need to use this for when I make the um, egg wraps. So I'm just going to wash it now and then put it to the side because I need this now for 
the boiled egg wrap. This is what I boil the eggs in, so I'm just going to rinse it. And then fill it with some water, because I'm going to be putting eggs in it shortly. I have to wash the chopsticks separately because they can't go in the dishwasher, they just fall through the thingy. So And I use a tea towel to dry them. I'll put those there for now. And I have to get all the shells into this. Oops, nope, don't spray me. Pretty sure it's on the couch where you put it.
sink. All right, now it's counter time. Let's turn it back this way. Now it's counter time. That one's dry. So I take a few baby wipes, cheap, and they work very well. And then I go over the whole counter once with one, just basically sweeping off any debris, whatnot, soaking up any water that might have accumulated from me washing dishes, throw it, then continue with the second wipe. tennis place, but I can see you when you're in the park, yes? Well, do the spider! Did you poo? Then why are you like that? Did you pee? Did you get changed? Okay. Just say so. Don't scare me. I thought there was something wrong with you. What you saw? I thought there was something wrong with you. <laughs> what you saw I was doing? I thought you were struggling. What do you those are chopsticks I have to dry. Leave them alone, please. Okay, go finish what you're doing. What are you making? I'm making you guys boiled egg wraps for lunch. I'm going to be starting it very shortly. I'm just cleaning very quickly around. They have to do their table now. Because it's always a mess. What? I'm sorry one day we get cabinet. No. You sorry too? I'll count later. I can't right now. I'm busy. I'm cleaning. Change your pull up. Well, I'll take a sorry. Can I watch? No, it's after breakfast. You don't get to watch after breakfast. You know that. We have a rule in the house that after breakfast, there is no more TV. They're out all day. They can watch at dinner time. Why are you taking off your socks to take off your pull up? You don't have to do that. Uh, I don't want to go outside anymore. Well, you're not watching TV. So. What? Where's the spider? Where? 
doing? You have to get on pants or shorts or something. You can't just go out like that. Silly. So we have the wraps, the chopping board, and the items that I'm going to be using for it. We just have to wait for the eggs now. Eggs. While we wait, I'm gonna get some coffee. I'm gonna set up my um, iPad so that I can do some blogging. Today's Thursday, I have to post one. I get to choose which one. Um, I think the one that I asked Johnny if it was okay to post was Feminism, A Culture of Death. So I think I'm gonna post that one today. Might have to add more creamer to this. Looks pretty strong. My this right foot? Yeah. So, I, what? Yeah, I'm gonna need more creamer. It's way too strong. What is it? I wish I had one of those timer things. What? You know, that you can use for timing can and then it goes off. I haven't been able to find one. Is it out? And I want a cute one. Like, what? I don't know. A what? chicken or. What? What? A duck or something. My foster mom had a goose. She loved the geese. So she had all these little gooses around the house. It was really nice. I guess everyone has like a theme or a thing. Mine is gardens and flowers and I like that kind of stuff, but I've never seen like a flower timer, but maybe I can find one on Amazon. So I'm going to go search on Amazon to see if I can find one and I'll be back. So we're at boiling now. And we have eight minutes left before I take them off. I boil them for 15 minutes and the shell just literally falls right off. And that's my secret. 
15 minute boil time. Doesn't matter how many is in there, 15 minutes. And all of the shells will fall off. These are where you can find me on social media. And don't forget the tea party. I changed my page's name to Stacy Kamea because that will be my name in a less than a month. And I'm super excited about it, guys. Super excited. So after they're done boiling, I usually let them go in cold water for a minute to three minutes. And then I start cracking them. So if you want to see how easily they literally just peel off, I'm going to set up the camera so that you can see. So I want to show you how easily they just... The shell just comes right off. Just watch. See that? Not even chunks out of it. Look at that. Perfect full egg. Boiled. Sit. Every single time. It doesn't matter how many you put in here. 15 minute boil time. 2-3 minute cool down time. And then just gently tap it until the shell breaks. You don't want to like smash it or roll it or anything. <gasps> Oops. Later I'm going to be doing fried rice. Or the man and the kids. Just so I don't waste the rice that we use for curry. I usually do that, fried rice. I literally love how easily it peels right off. Done. No time at all. Now I'm gonna show you how I do the wraps. This part's fun. All right, so I'll get a wrap out. Place it on the side here like this. And I use this for like the filling because it's just, I don't know, it's flavorful. And I just use one of these basing brushes. And I'll do a wide circle. Just like this. If they liked spinach, I would be putting spinach, but they don't. They just like cheese, egg, bread. So that's all I do. Then once I'm done doing that, I will slice one egg. You can do them as thick or thin as you want for the slice of the egg. I try to do it kind of relatively thick to thin, just so that it fits within the parameter that I set for the wrap. And then I 
I just lay it in like so. I don't care if the yolk falls all over the place, it's fine. Then I add the peas. This is where the fun part comes in because I'm not very good at the wrapping part, but I try. I do it oh so gently, just in case. And then I always put a little bit of this between to seal it so it doesn't move. And I hold it there like this for a few seconds and then I place it on their plate. Done. Next one. this one a little faster because you guys already seen what I did. Make a little circle of sauce. Oh, I need this though. I'll just use my finger, whatever. I did it this morning. I used my finger because I accidentally put it in the sink too soon. And done. So I'll give you an above view. This is what it looks like from above. Now I'm gonna add the cheese real quick. So you can see how I do the cheese. And I don't do very much cheese. I just grab my finger full. Do it that way. Done. And then I have to wrap it. This is the part that's a little hard for me. A little.
put away the brats. I sent Johnny off with one wrap to work today for a snack. So, yeah. So, here it is. They're done. Yay. Um, so, I'll move them into their spots now where they're supposed to be for lunch for the boys. It's well into lunch hour now. And a two. Yay. Okay, so that's the wraps, guys. I'll be back later. <coughs> <coughs> to do a video of me mixing up my first Plexus uh, Lean Way Meal Replacement Shake. I'm super excited to taste it. Super. So I'll be back for that later. I wrote a blog today, so if you want to go check it out, uh, the link will be in the dis in the description box below. And yeah, go read it. It's pretty long because I had to put different aspects around why I chose that title. So just in case anybody was wondering why it's long. <laughs> I don't do anything half-assed. Hey guys, sorry I didn't film anything else, but man, it's been a hectic afternoon. So the boys disappeared, didn't know where they went. Looked out the window, all I could see was uh, Lucas's um, scooter. No Lucas, I freaked out. He was at the neighbor's house, thankfully. So he was safe. Then we went to Fabricana, I picked up some fabrics. Love you. Love you. See you when you get back. So I wanted to show you the fabrics I got as quickly as I can. So I found a doily-like thing like I wanted. Not completely what I was looking for, but this is as close to doily as I could get. So that's fine. So I'm going to use that. And then I found some pretty fabrics. That I'm gonna use these are for my headdresses you guys right these are my headdresses this is the one I'm gonna use for my wedding headdress which I'm super super excited about cutting and forming and all of that then I went to the dollar store because I, like I said I'm doing this cheap so I went to the dollar store and got some flowers which I'm gonna be turning into a bouquet of flowers because my theme is light pink here these these are the colors of my theme light pink right light pink light pink so there's that then I got the picture frames for the wedding photos I did this one for when people walk in that's going to be cute, right? And then one for each of our end table. Because I want one photo of Johnny by himself. One photo of me by myself with the wedding dress on. And whatnot. Yes, I thought this through. Okay? Yes, I did. So I got myself a tablecloth. Which is a nice fabric. Which I'm going to turn into an apron. Now, tomorrow's pancakes, so I got something to put in the pancakes tomorrow, which I don't want the boys to see just yet. This is for my um, bouquet of flowers for the wedding. I got two of those. I also have these for the outside. I got myself a journal for helping with my business, like I said I was going to do. Tomorrow... 
When I make pancakes, I'm going to be putting these in it. Mini M&M's. Mini M&M's in your pancakes tomorrow. But there's green, red, and blue. That's right. That's for Daddy and Lucas. That's right, because I'm making daddies in the morning. Red, green, red, and blue of M&M bottles. All After right. Have to have some? No, they're for your pancakes tomorrow, I just said. in it? Yeah. It's going to be a delicious M&M fest tomorrow. That's right. Delicious. Because that's how I roll in this house. I make some delicious things. Alrighty. So, tomorrow's laundry day. So, I'm going to be putting all the laundry that I didn't get done today and, today and yesterday. We'll be, do, be doing getting done. To, uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Getting done to, tomorrow. My brain. All right, so I'm getting undressed. I have to turn off the video so I can take off my headdress finally. And I'm going to be going and watching Mrs. America, the first episode. Johnny's going to download the rest tomorrow and then switch it over to my gig so that I can watch the rest of them. And then just before bed, I'm seriously going to pray. And I have my sleep cap that came in the mail. So that I can pray in my... Um, my war room down here with my head covered. Yay! All right, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I hope that you guys really, really enjoyed today and had a wonderful Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday, thankfully. And then I get to sleep in on Saturday. The house smells like fried rice, which is delicious. I can't express how much I love y'all, how much I want you guys blessed and forever. God bless you all. And just before I go, I'm going to show you what I did for Johnny. So I made Johnny two of these. They are fried rice wraps. Delicious. They have Frank's. Yeah. And some, well, basically how I made the wraps earlier for the kids with the egg in it, I did with rice this time. And I put spinach in his and cheese. And yeah, so that's what I did. So have a wonderful evening, guys. God bless you all. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, today, and I'll catch you guys here back tomorrow. Lots of Mommy, blessings. God Mommy, bless. Good night. I don't want fried rice, but I want to nail wrap. Okay, then I'll have to make you a sandwich wrap. Okay? Okay. Okay, well, now I have to do work. So, love y'all. Catch you tomorrow. Good night. Sleep time. See you tomorrow. Later for now. God bless. Mwah.